that's what I want. And that's center of gravity joint. Okay, hips. All right, so what thing I did, this is one thing I had questions about. I don't want the hips. And I want to be able to drag this up here. There we go. So I'm getting rid of the hips. So, and I'm also going to rename thigh to upper leg. And let's come over here and make sure that that's what I've done. Upper arm, leg, his thigh, knee, ankle. Oh, I changed all that. I changed all that here instead. No. So confusing right now. File. Uh, first off, we're going to save this scene as number 10. Okay, then let's open another Maya here real quick. And I think if I've got upper arm and stuff, I'm going to want upper leg. Same thing with uh, thigh. Let's see what I did here. This one will tell me how I set this up. And so upper arm, lower arm, still thigh knee football. Football. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's undo that. I do want to. So this is actually going to be in the wrong place. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, how does everything get moved here? This should be zero. Okay. So we'll work it there. How did it get moved? I probably moved it. Let's close that out. All right. Center of gravity. So this is actually supposed to be pelvis. And then these should be spine underscore number number. This actually should be neck. Then head. So actually, let's take this neck. Please stop doing that. Here we go. I figured that out. Clavicles should go here under spine three. Delete that neck. Okay. And I am going to unparent my clavicles right now. And I'm actually going to delete, sorry, uh, all my right side stuff for the moment. All right, and let's go, let's hide our head. And I just wanted to be at the front. Okay. And I actually did that thing, didn't I? So let's see, this is our neck and I'm gonna unparent the head stuff too. And control, shift, right click, all right, we're going object. Perspective. I may just go back to the mouse here because I don't love it. Uh, let's orient. Let's grab this. Orient. That looks like the way that we're going to want it to go. All right, let's orient all these. And actually, I want this at zero. Okay. Uh, D. And I'm going to scoot this up. So this should actually that should be there. I'm just going to scoot these up a bit. And I think what I am going to do, now I got rid of my curve. What a jackass. Uh, let's do something here. We're going to create a IK spine handle. Auto create curve. Let's do three spans. And I'm going to do pelvis to spine three. Then I'm going to delete this. Here's my curve. Let's isolate that sucker. And let's display CVs. Now, for some reason, this worked before. Display CVs. Edit points, CVs, edit points, show all. That's helpful. Okay, so uh, what I actually want with the 
this curve is under modeling, curves, rebuild, and I think I only want three on this one. Apply, linear, apply. Right, because I only went up to the fourth. So that looks right. Let's undo, unshow that. Let's hide our geometry though. And let's grab our spine one and I'm going to vertex snap each of these. Okay, this says orthographic, but this is actually, there we go. Show all joints, good Lord. All right, kids, going back to the mouse for now. This is what I'm gonna work on in my own time. You know, just have the tablet, wanna use it, pay for it. It's all good stuff. It's like my joint, vertex snap, turn that off so I don't vertex snap to there. I vertex snap. Look at all these stupid windows I have. All right, I don't need this, I don't need this. Okay. And, you know, some people don't. Why is this now? Okay, nothing's connected to it. So there we go. All right, that's just a glitchy glitch. All right, let's bring this guy back. I'm going to go here to the front view. Um, and I'm just going to move this guy up a little closer to the neck, right view, and a little closer to the front. Perspective view. All right. Then I think what I also will not do anything else. Okay. And I'm going to orient that so that it's pointed down this joint. Orient. So that's weird to me that it does this. I mean, it should have been there to begin with. But And so here is the question Does the wrist get oriented to world? Or does it get oriented this way? It should get oriented this way, I think. And here I have a hand joint that I'm going to keep oriented to world. And look, good thing is all my joints are now off. So maybe here I can and then nudge this down a bit. Super exciting when a lot of work you did is now not done. Because you did something stupid at some point. But better here than somewhere else, I suppose. I feel like this is still moving a lot faster than I would like. I was hoping that with the change. Uh, so we're going to have to redo a lot of these. But I'm going to, I think, try to follow this line a little bit better. And I'm going to want it to kind of bend this way. So let's orient that. Go to object, or if I'm rotating, we'll go to gimbal. Right? Okay. And the nice thing with this tool is I want this to kind of go along that line this way, right? So I'm going to want it to rotate along Y, start with five. Okay, that's how, so that when this goes, rotates in, that's what I want. Okay, and when this, maybe it's ZY. Nope, YZ. Maybe this is Y and this is all Z. YZZ, oops, Z feel like when I was looking at the thing here, right? Why is it easy? Someone's my shoulder. Why is it easy? Orient. Okay. Elbow. Orient. Right? Local rotation axis on. Z forward. I feel like I was looking at this. Give me a second. So, yep, I'm still a little confused here. So, here, I got an idea. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my joints. Right? Why is it easy? All right. And I'm going to create one, but I'm going to snap it here. Point snap it, point snap, point snap. And end that. And then well, let's just see. It's really weird to me because it's not what it looked like on the Unity model. Right? It looked like it was like this. It looked like this. Right? It looked like things were rotating this way along the Z axis. So is that right or not? See, I don't know. What the heck do I know? Nothing. I'm going to stop here for right. So I'm back with everything I did wrong. Um, so what I think I'm just going to do is stick with this uh, YZZ orientation. Um, and kind of fix it up from there. Oh, of course it did, because I 
already selected hierarchy. Good job, video. Uh, select hierarchy, local rotations on. So I want this local to be, let's see, let's set this Y to zero. Eh, no, but I don't want to do that. All right, I'm just going to tweak it like I did the other one, and I want this thumb to kind of move in. Actually, that goes a pretty good spot. Hmm? Or the way the thumb geometry is, anyway. Uh, that's an orient, but I don't want to orient that one. Right? I still want it to go this way. Orient that one. Orient that one. Orient that one. Right. And then let's look up here. You know what's going to make me mad? Is if this is back no, meters. Okay. Cool. Alright, uh, so this one we kind of want this way. So, let's set this back to one and tweak. Uh, and as I tweak this, I can see in my attribute editor getting kind of closer to zero here on the Y, which is kind of where I want it. Uh, let's just type it in, see what happens. Uh, in fact, Y and X should both be zero. But, I mean, they shouldn't be, but I'd like them to be, let's say. And then I could just kind of nudge this over, freeze the transforms, make sure I got everything there is frozen. Same here. So, let's see about there. Kind of come in sort of straight down that arm. This would be a script, right? Set the joint orient to and the other joint to zero. That could be a thing that we do. Well, and they still so looks like kind of want this to go up just a hair. those. That looks about right. I think you know, I want the same here. This I'm going to want to go up and then rotate down. Uh, orient that. Actually, that one looks pretty good as is. Maybe not. It's, it's kind of hard to tilt this camera in the direction that you want it to tilt, but still, I think that's looking pretty, pretty down the lane. I'm just going in, and I might be speeding this up. Who knows? But I'm just kind of going in here, and actually, I think I might want to scoot my pinky one back here a bit, just because it's the pinky, and it has a metacarpal similar to the thumb-ish. Um, so I'm gonna, I am going to want it to turn a little differently and bend in a little bit more. So what I might actually want to do here with this one is maybe pull it in just a smidge that way. Pull this one. Oops. Let's just do this whole chain here. All right, make sure that's kind of where I want it. I can nudge that down a bit. And then I'm going to orient it and let's see where we are because I would kind of like this to be just more this way. And On this line, let's rotate this out just a hair. Freeze the transforms, and then from there on, I should be able to zero, zero. So this is something I would really, really like to know, like in a definitive sort of way, is, you know, if it's consistent, like how much does it matter? Right, you want your base one to basically have right Z is the forward axis, right? Because that's my understanding. Like that's what Unreal does. Most game engines. And these always end up looking like they're like they look good in one, and obviously, but then get to another one, right? That should be 
rotate it down. Move in a bit. I mean, that doesn't matter so much for deformation there. My ring finger here could probably be a little bit better, maybe a little less bent over here. And this can really become time draining for me. So let's grab my wrist here. Okay, so we got hand fine. So this is not where I want it. So if I do this, all right, so, oh wait, wrist, okay. Wrist is fine. Hand, I want to orient it as world axis. And then everything from there on down. Uh, okay. So let's select hierarchy. I actually don't think you have to, but just doing it because I have a button. It does it pretty quickly, and it looks like my thumb is off again. Boom. Let's do that. Do you freeze transforms? And in theory, these should all kind of come in like that on each other. Although this thumb one, I'm going to want. Oh, that needs to go the other way. That's way off. That's why that was happening. Went super far in the wrong, super far in the wrong direction. Didn't I? Yes. Okay. No. Uh, you still orient, but let's go that way. So let's just go ninety here, right? That's what I want. And then right there. Now, it goes more into this fist, fist shape. Uh, and I actually don't want these top ones. All objects off. Dang it, man. Why did I just drag select them? I'm sure there's some stupid setting. Actually, the thumb I do want still, but so if I rotate the Z, it's gonna, you know, fist it up. Just look at my hand while I'm doing it. Uh, all right. So, and again, let's just make sure we're where we want to be on the geometry as much as possible. All right. The other things I'm going to do that I've discovered, and I might have to open another my here to reference it. So. Right, let's just go ahead and do that. And I'm going to just pull it up on my other screen. You don't need to see it. But I need to see it. And I will reference that. But I think this is what I was doing. Um, let's go check on our legs here. So let's orient that. And then orient that. There's other Maya. I'm just going to pull it off screen. Open uh, file I was using on my own here. Just for reference sake. So my left thigh here, right? Y is pointing forward, or I'm sorry, Z is forward, Y down the bone, and X uh, to the side. Right. And that is orientated. Let's find that here. So this knee should have a negative and then zero, zero. So that's good. Then what they had was the ankle. So the ankle was world oriented. And I know when I make the controller for the IK ankle, I'm going to want it to match that. Maybe. But so we'll orient that. Orient that. Okay. So as far as this higher, excuse me, goes, let's look at all of our I say, no, I didn't say select hierarchy. Good. All right. So all the Z's are pointing in the right directions. Y is pointing down the chains, except when I have something set for world space. And that still that Z is pointing forward. Okay. Uh, except my spine is not 